Hey, it's Ranger374 coming to you from the Bass Cave. Been a little while since I got a video out. Been pretty busy, actually. And, you know, personal issues always come up. Family and stuff like that. You know how it goes. But I've still been doing some fishing. Um, anybody keeping track, you know, I fish in a bass club. And uh, we had a tournament down on the Pocomoke River in Maryland. Uh, it's in the Northeast. Bunch of little fish. I mean, uh, five fish for seven thirty-three wanted. I think I had like caught eight, could only weigh three. Had like five eleven inches. Yeah, you know how that goes. So uh, anyway, only weighed three in that, and you know had like three point some pounds for three fish. So that's how that tournament went. Plus it was hot, you know. Northeast been hot. It's supposed to get a little cooler. Next tournament be on the Conwingo Reservoir. Can't wait for that one. Be smallmouth city. So um, I actually have another tackle warehouse order in. Uh, this is just one in between some necessity stuff. Uh, nothing huge. Um, but next one coming in should be for you know a bunch of smallmouth stuff and you know things that I might need but you always keep your small mouth box I only go there once a year so I uh, stack up when I can but uh, anyway I hope everybody's been out there fishing safe you know they're all talking about the you know the COVID word again um, I ain't worrying about it so no more shots for me but that's just a personal thing alright anyway like I said tackle warehouse order this is actually like two smaller orders, but you know they add up. And a bunch of, like I said, bunch of necessity stuff. Nothing, nothing crazy. I got, you know, rod sleeves, tackle warehouse. I like these tackle warehouse rod sleeves. Um, they got the keeper on them. Um, back in the spring, yeah, I lost like three rod sleeves because they weren't attached to anything, and they just kind of flew on past me at about 50 miles an hour so and it's these kind but I do like them I like them in my rod box they're the rod glove ones and they're just replacements for some of the ones I lost but I got like three of those I think I lost three and anyway I saw these when I bought those and I didn't know they even had these they are Dobbins rod sleeves I hope it's Claire's not going to mess up stuff. This is like mid-evening. Should have filmed it at night, I guess, for the glare. But Dobbins has their own rod sleeves. I love Dobbins rods. Um, anyway, I got an orange orange spin one because I got like a... I think it's the Colt series. is like an orange and black. So, and I got the blue and black. I actually ordered another one of these, blue and black. For the um, for the champion series, which are you know blue and black, but anyway, nothing big there. Um, got one of these six cents tackle bag. Wanted to check them out. I've got a bunch of these Plano speed bags, and first thing I saw was there's a spot to put what's in the bag on it. I've got all kinds of key ring tags and stuff on my. My other, you know, my KVD series Plano bags or whatever they are, but this is a six cents one. Got the logo on the side. It's about, I'd say it's a little wider than the than the speed bags. I ain't sure, but it's definitely got the, you know, tag on it, which you can write in there. Whether I just put creature crawl, something like that on it, you know, just. I keep one. I actually bought this because I want to put um, my Ned Rig stuff in it for this next tournament. So I'm going to stash like a hundred packs of, you know, Ned Rigs 
and the hooks and stuff all in this thing and uh, go from there but yeah I think this might be like my go to Ned bag it's pretty wide inside I mean it's a big bag I think it's like you know 14 bucks got a side pocket on it put your hooks and stuff in that thing pretty sharp you know plus I like all the six cent stuff crankbaits I've been buying them for years before they even got big and another storage one I wanted to get because I do like these for just throwing everything in and going it's the tackle warehouse version of the Bass Mafia money bag you know probably the same price says tackle warehouse on it I don't know but I got one over there it's stuffed up with everyday type stuff and I just throw in the ranger and go but these things are these things are useful you don't know what to you know put them in a bag or what you're going to be fishing that day just throw everything in there throw it in the truck boat whatever yeah you know get your old sticker from tackle warehouse and red shirt free red shirt you know you spend spend your paycheck and you get a free shirt I'm not a red fan but you know I'm black and blue anyhow uh, got more, more general stuff it's all gonna be general stuff it's just boring but I needed some heavy cover worm hooks in a 3 out so I bought some Gamagatsu's um, I noticed when I was doing some pitching in some lily pads and some grass you know a month or two ago then ran out of three aughts so I had fours and fives but not the threes Gamagatsu heavy cover worm hook um, gets the job done and yeah these were supposed to be for Ned rigging but I think they're a little too big bought these from Big Bite Baits I wanted a weedless Ned rig head but I don't know I think they're a little too big for my, my Ned rig unless it's the, the big TRD from Z-Man that probably will work on here but the little Ned now nah, I don't think that one's gonna work on here but anyway they're eighth ounce and it, it doesn't even say the size hook but I'm guessing that's a four rot extra wide gap that's just my guess but it'll work with the big TRD but I don't think it'll work with the with the uh, with the tiny net oh these, these were yeah these were in one of my the first little order it's like the first little order i got i'm still on that green pumpkin kick man i'll tell you green pumpkin's just been it's been smashing them for me so i needed some green pumpkin trailers so i went through these are for chatter baits and you can fish them by yourself on them on you know just a jig head or whatever but they're the spunk chads and they're by I'm pretty sure they're by the same company but missile baits and hog farmer which had the original spunk shad are kind of in cahoots now I think with missile baits because it's the same bait I just wanted to buy each bag and see if it was the same bait I can't even remember the price difference. I think they're around the same. But I use those on my chatterbait trailers. Put them on a wobble head too. But shout out to TJ. I got his jersey on. Anybody check out TJ? I'm sure you have by now. I've been following him for like 10 years. So shout out to TJ. Jim's a great guy. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't. Anyway. Green Pumpkin Rage Menace. That on a swim jig, chatter bait, you know, anything. That's a good trailer. That's the trailer I just caught them on a swim jig at the Pokemon. Caught like eight fish on a swim jig. Nothing else, just swim jig. I ain't going to show you my swim jig because it's custom. So if anybody wants to know, they can send me a message. I'll tell you. I got them custom made though. 
after a crankbait color. So um, these ones, the Komodo by Gambler, use them on a chatter bait also. Good bait. They're kind of kind of colder, different looking bait. Take one out. It's kind of got like a fork tail. Pretty cool. Definitely got some garlic scent. Whole bass cave smells like garlic. So I've been messing with some. Here's here's something I got laid out for for my small mouth. A little ball jig. Brown crawl. I dyed the tip orange. That's that's one of the ones I'll be tying on some rods behind me. Got a new rod too. But ain't nothing special. It's been what I've been testing out for about a year now. And I got green pumpkin flukes. Put them on anything. Put them on spinner bait, chatter bait. I put black ones on, on a chatter bait. Black and blue chatter bait. Put a black fluke on the back. I'll catch some fish. Anyway, just a regular the fluke. Normal fluke. Four inch one. I think they're four. Yeah, I think they're four. Anyway. Yeah, I know. This is for Mad Matt. I had to buy these. Mad Matt, I know you're out there. You can comment, and then I'm going to send these to you in the mail. The Guggen Bait. Believe it or not, that's a decent chatterbait trailer. It's called the Happy Trailer. And it's pretty cool. Check them out. I have to give Matt credit being a Guggen head. That's a good trailer right there. Happy trailer by Guggen. Anyway, still going. Z-Man, you know, buy a lot of the Neds and stuff, but this Razor Shad, it's the Razor Shad and Green Pumpkin, great trailer too. It's kind of like the KVD um, Strike King trailer that I got also. It's the blade minnow. Blade minnow's pretty close to this one. I'll show you these. If I can. Well, they're kind of in a kind of in a clamshell, but they're not. But blade minnow and yeah, you can see through the pack on this one probably. Maybe unless the glare is bad. But they're about the same. They're close to the same thing. So, anyway, they're good on chatterbait, swim jig. Like I said, I've been buying a bunch of green pumpkin stuff and just putting them in a green pumpkin bin when I'm looking for it. Because every time I'm looking for it, I can't find them. And if you've seen the mess lying around me, you'd know why. Because it's getting towards the end of, you know, tournament season. This, everybody's got to have these. You're fishing chatterbait, got to have Zacos. They are definitely the number one chatterbait trailer. And the green pumpkin. This thing's just, it's awesome. Just hands down, just a great chatterbait trailer ton of fish on this thing. I'm, they'd probably tear up. You catch a couple four pounders on them. They'll tear them up, but that's why they put, you know, six in a bag. So you can catch multiple four pounders with one bag. They ain't gonna last much past that. Anyhow. Alright. I bought these menaces just and it's for, it's for this next tournament too, like I said, with the small mouse. These, these aren't green pumpkin, they're the, the crawl daddy color. It's brown, brown and orange kind of color. Kind of like what I did that jig with, but with the menace. So I'm, I'm going to put one of these, I'm putting a swim jig together just for this tournament also. And uh, we'll see what happens. But... Anyway, that's that's baits I bought. And I got another free sticker, so that was 
two orders worth you can tell anyway never never get a tackle warehouse order without the probe gotta have a probe anyway this one was on back order that's why I got it it's the herring pink and the Spro 65 it's no big deal but if you got some bait fish that that pinkish you know there's a little bit of pink in some bait fish and kind of translucent so anyway we don't have much of a shad spawn around my parts but if they're chasing some bait fish you know they might hit that frog you never know see what happens anyway like I said I did get a rod only because I needed another medium I take all these cellus rods it's Shimano cellus rod nothing special about them um, I know that cellus is backwards on there I'm trying not to hit my TV over here that I watch videos on but it's a medium heavy power 6.8 use it for anything and reason I like these rods number one you can get them for forty some dollars if you if you get them on sale forty bucks you know like forty one you know something like that even thirty if you find a better sale but anyway they're a little bit softer medium heavy it's in between a you know it's not as much medium heavy as some rods so how I compensate is with my line if I'm using a medium you know I can use a braid make it a little stronger you know if I want to go the other way use a mono fluorocarbon you know to make it more more stronger more power to it I should say and uh, I just compensate with the lines not as you know not as much for it depending on what bait you're throwing so like I said though for 40 some bucks you can't beat these rods I've been fishing them for over a year in these club tournaments just trying them out and they're they're bulletproof that with the SLX reels can't beat them but anyway that's it for now until I get this next order in this week should be here Friday so um I have another video out but let me know how you're doing you know how you how you uh fishing them catch them on top catch them on the bottom how you doing them but anyway any other questions just give me a shout it's ranger 374 and i'm out